Hello and welcome my friends to Mountain Blade 2 Benelord. After so many years, it has finally arrived. We're all very excited about playing this, uh, but fair warning, this is early access. It can very well be the case that after recording this, uh, this future episode, the uh, save files are wiped. Who knows what can happen with all of the updates, because right now there is a update almost every day where, where they try to balance stuff but also fix some issues so with all that in mind i hope you will be enjoy enjoying what this series might be about because i do not know uh right now i've played a um let's wait until this uh, loading stream is done before i crash the game If I didn't do that already, no. <laughs> you never know, you never know. I've played a total of 8 hours in this game, which is, as you know, nothing. While entering the game, you can select your culture. So the, um, the Vlandians are the descendants of adventurers from the West who lived under the Empire for centuries, from forming... Uh, before uh, for centuries before forming an independent kingdom with the decline of the imperial authority they have evolved into a well-organized feudal society led by a caste of warlike nobles who prefer to fight with spears and lances on horseback and you will gain 20 more xp from that that is so nice that really is nice very tempting we have the uh, sturgeon sturgeons I will butcher some of these names, but you, well, if you have watched my uh, my warband videos in the past, then you know that, well, let's say English isn't my forte. The Sturgeons are the descendants of a foreign tribe from northern Calradia. As the empire expanded into the cold forest, they found that, uh, that a ready market for luxurious fur for woodland animals whom they traditionally hunted and trapped. Sturgeon Shifton became princes, wow, vying for preeminence, wow, okay, preeminence with the help of Nord Mercian, uh, mercenaries who migrated into their realm. They are good hunters and wanderers, traveling far in search for opportunities, both in trade and for plunder. I like that. I like the trade in this, uh, this game, but I'll show you that. 20% less speed penalty from snow. Empire. The Calradian Empire uh, is in decline, even before the murder of the Emperor uh, Arsenticus. At Arsenticus. The, the, one united realm was, the once united realm was torn by political rivalries. Today, those factions are in open war, yet... Call Radiance and Dur. They are technologically more advanced than their neighbors, and their masters of engineering is not just evident in their aqueducts, a beautiful architecture, and massive city walls. It also makes them expert in siege warfare, which is so that that that's absolutely a very nice change. You can tore down castles if you want to. You can absolutely destroy them, and I like that. I truly do. 20% more construction speed um, to town projects, wall repairs and siege engines. Hopefully you don't hear the dogs barking down below. The Ezerai. The Ezerai are the inhabitants of the Nashar Desert, a mixture of nomadic Bodian and settled oasis, oasis farmers. They are famous for their horsemanship and their knowledge of the, of the learnings, learning of the many lands. Especially medicine gained from lying, lying on some of the continent's most luxurious trade routes. Each clan is fiercely proud of its lineage and often jealous of the others. But when united by a charismatic leader, which is everyone but me, they become a major force in the south. Still, it's very interesting. Caravans are forty or thirty percent cheaper to build and ten percent less trade penalty. What I understand is. Your caravans, you can send caravans from one town to the other for trade. How it all works, I do not know yet, but this is what I understand of it. The Cusades, Cusades, whatever. The Cusade 
confederation of steppe tribes used to live a nomadic life but have recently settled in the eastern frontier of the empire and are slowly transitioning into a Argian society with a permanent town center with permanent town centers despite this they still remain many aspects of their nomadic life they still retain many of aspects of their nomadic life including their own affection with horses they are masters of mounted archery shooting from galloping out of reach 10 percent additional bonus for horsemen on the campaign map so i would say more speed although i did a stream and yeah not some of the bonuses don't actually work at the moment so keep that in mind if you are playing this right now and we have the uh, the Batians. The Batians are Batanians. Batanians, not Batians. Batanians still remember the old days when the woods stretched across the northern Calradia, and the empire and its cities had yet to violate the sanctity. The fierce warriors re uh, remain loyal to their traditional ways. They paint their faces when gro going into battle, and even their noblemen prefer to fight on foot while using great axes and two-handed swords with deadly proficiency. 10% less speed penalties in forest for your party. Interesting. So, there's definitely some options. I don't think it all matters all that much uh, from now on. Yeah, you could say you get the more uh, more experience from troops. Mm, what actually, that actually ain't that bad of an idea. Although, I like the, uh, the two-handed axe option, so let's go. So your character creation, and it is absolutely astonishing. It is absolutely so nice. Let me show you all of the uh, the color options here. So you can do or play whatever it is that you prefer. Make a circle. And circle facing outward. Onward. You can actually change the pitch in your voice. Form a shield wall. I think it's a bit too. There you go. Infantry, make a circle. Make a circle. Maybe maybe a bit less dark. Let's go with daily fix. The tall? No. Daily fix the average. Why not? It <laughs> doesn't really matter. So there's a, uh, a, a good range actually of uh, skin types. Like why not? Let's take a look which... Um, yeah, I kind of think... Mm, I like the second one. It has this rough feel to it. Yes. I like it. Oh wow. Let's see. Hmm... And you can randomize only this option. You can randomize all of it. Uh, but I wouldn't suggest. I, I would not advise on going that way. But yeah. Ooh. No, I didn't like the front of that. Yes, that looks better. Uh, the eyes itself. And you can t uh, choose your brow type. <laughs> and they thought of everything. The eyes are very, very behind in my sockets here. You can change the eye color if you like. So let's go with something that is quite in your face there monolith eyes no something like that halfway there the outer height let's just randomize this bit until we come across eyes like these that are absolutely fantastic and you can actually change your nose nose angle <laughs> i don't know why that's funny oh yeah i don't know why but let's uh Make the nose a bit less wide. And uh, let's go to the chin. What kind of... Oh, we have teeth time. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, we'll just go with... Uh, no. Mm. Sure, why not? It is just teeth. Who cares? But look at all of these changes. It is absolutely very complex. Okay, my hair. The hair is quite important. The making of a character. And there is so many options. And they're all very good. I wonder if you flip your character around, if your hair will... Uh, no, it doesn't. I think we do want to get our ponytail. Look at us. We're so sophisticated. We know. We've dealt with everything. Maybe we need a bit of a... Um, a good-looking moustache. No. Oh. We could go like the Wolverine. That's something like... Oh, yeah, this this I like. I like this a lot. 
Yeah, let's go. So, the character options. You were born into a family, and every time you click all of these, you can actually see where your points are going into. And that's quite nice. That really is nice. I really, really like that. As for this, the chief garden. Yeah, there we go. So, two handed and bow. I think that is quite nice. In our childhood option. Look at this, man. It's like Chucky. <laughs> Your leadership skills, yes. A oh, brawl. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of throwing weapons, even though they have been improved quite a bit. So if you are into that sort of thing, by all means, go ahead and try for it. My way with people, or horses, and some medicine. Yeah, why not? Let's go with riding and with intelligence, like medicine. Since we are going to be playing more realistic, and we will be losing a lot of people. Like all little ch children, you helped out in the fields, but you also had a weird ass looking dress. Herding sheep. No. Worked in the village as a smithy. And that's actually, it could be interesting. I like these smithing options. And um, I think you can actually make a lot of money from that. Maybe not so much with the crafting. But, I'd say that you might be getting some good materials. So let's go with some cunning tactics and archery. And if we are able to, well, let's try if we can get some more vigor. The cunning is nice and stewardship as well, but those things we can also level up. Um, no. Oh wow, we're getting really into a bow character, aren't we? Trained with the infantry, even more. Joined with a cannon. Okay, so, perhaps, I think we did, we just did, we, we stood some guard, although, yeah, let's go for the archery and the mount, out of all the options, I think that is the better one. As for this, there we go, some vigor. So, we defeated an enemy in battle. Hunted glorious animals. Oh, yeah. I think let's go and beat an enemy in there. We do need some sword skill. And the entire skill system has been changed. Like many fa families in Call Radio. Your life was up 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 upended by war. Your home was ravaged by passing of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, your mother, your brother and your two younger siblings to a new town. You'd heard uh, was safer, but you didn't make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders, your parents were slain, and your two younger siblings sieged. Uh, but you and your brother survived because... We're just badasses like that. So, the more you get in these points, I'll explain it right now, is the more experience you get from uh, doing all that. So, we'll drove them off with arrows. We will be using horses, but I think in the early start, I might as well just go for a bit more vigor. We'll get more mastery. This uh, vigor represents the ability to move with speed and force. So it actually ain't that bad. Endurance? Why not? Let's go for we subdue a raider. Yes. And our name is... Uh, you can actually randomize this. Griff. No. Actually, Griff. Griff. Griff it is. My name's Griff. Yes. And like I said, would you go for realistic and enable death? Maybe only player receiving damage, not so realistic. You know what? No, who cares? Who cares? We will be playing realistic. Because why not? We don't know how long the save is going to be. And therefore, now we will not be doing the entire tutorial. But here we go. Brother, it's been three days now. We've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Farouk and Atian? Actually, these names do change. With, uh, are we up for a fight? So, we... You know what? Um, hmm, actually, there is one thing that we can do here. So, let's go. Let's go and do the tutorial. However, um, let's do this. And we're just... Tap out. You have to, you need to hold tap now. So you can actually leave the area. It doesn't matter for much for the tutorial. So let's leave here. And it will tell you where to go. So yeah, let's go to 
this location over there. And before doing anything, let's go and take a look. So we have some skills here. As you can see, this is my attribute points, which go into this tree. And this is our focus points, which go into all of these. And focus will increase, as you can see here, the experience rate. 9.45 and 9.01. Since we at the moment have a one-handed weapon and it doesn't really matter. Let us uh, take some extra HP. Because I've heard that two-handed weapons are so badass. Let's see, one and a half times uh, extra damage. It points increases by 3%. Ooh. Let's go for the hit. Oh, I actually was going to do... Let's, let's change that. Let's go for the, um, for the additional HP. Because while yeah, we are going to be fighting a lot. So that and that. Bow skill. Marksmanship, accuracy with the bow. Now some of these are not working at the moment in this time. 6% um, more horse hit points, which is good. And how's my smithing? It actually is quite, quite bad. But yeah, it's fine for now. So we have one point which we can go and we'll... Um, Let's do some into athletics, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some additional stuff. But also we uh, <laughs> we can run a bit longer. So let's press done here. What kind of gear do we have? So we have a small hatchet, a bow, a horse, and some other stuff. And here's our brother. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I'm going to rob you blind, sir. I'm sorry for that. I need your shield. Maybe your weapon. Let's go ahead. So, oh yeah, wow. Wow. That is quite a change. Uh, you will not be able to keep these. I'll, uh, I'll give you that. So, it doesn't really matter what you take right now. Because you will not be able to keep it. Damn. Really nice. So, it's the same cape. Uh, but now we look a bit stronger. Let's, uh... Brother, why are you so undressed? And here's your weapon of choice. Yes, that's how we do it. Um, you can actually see there are quests here. We are out of food and we need some help. So we're going to Tivia. Why not? Let's walk around the town. And that brings us to a very, very cool option. I'll try to rush through the uh, tutorial. We're here, I guess, so we need food. After And after that, maybe some men to come with us. Maybe some men. The, herd, the headman here can probably help us. Let's try to find... Why are you having your stuff on again? Oh yes, oh yes. So, holding the left alt key, you can now actually see where characters are that you might be interested in. So, I really, really love that. I truly love that. And look at the town. It is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Hey, look at that, my family. <laughs> what are you doing here? Anyways, let's continue. So, there you go. Hetzman uh, Patty, Patrice, Patrice, whatever. It's a name. I will butcher all the names. And you know what? Let us be friendly. Let's dismount. Hello, sir. Why are you staring at that wall? Did you just notice a crack? I'm... Uh, I'm Patrice, headman of the village, or Patrice, whatever. Let's see. Oh, they got your people too. Sorry to hear that. Those bastards, they've done a bit of killing and looting in these bars as well. Oh, we think we've... Uh, we think they've gone north. I reckon these are a... I reckon there are a few folk around here who will join you in going after them if you pay them for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have to, and may have a task for you, if you're going after those raiders, yes, we shall. So, let's step out. And uh, this time we're going to be, oh, sorry for that, uh, let's recruit these strips. We can just recruit them all by doing that. Press done, and now we need food. But we don't have to buy too much of them. If you have food, click this. And you can now not sell them. It is a really good option. I really, really love that. So, with all of that done, 
let's talk again with the brother and yes you can just click them over there you can actually see the militia of this town as well as our party who's staying here so let us talk again with the hetman so glad to see what um, uh, let, glad to see you found what you needed now about the matter i mentioned earlier there is a wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time his name is tectius treats people for free we found of him of course he's free well we lost saw him a few days ago he was carrying some sort of chest which he was very mysterious about he was uh, on some sort of quest he said for he wouldn't tell us more he set off the road just a few hours before the raiders came through here well he's not really that a worldly type just a kind of fellow who stumbles into a trap and lets himself be captured we're worried about him because you're your free doctor if you can keep an eye out for him, this Tectius, we'd be very grateful. Maybe he's alive and well, and he will tell you a little more about his quest. So yes, let's step out again, and we'll see if we can actually... Oh yes, we need to fight. Let's do this. Let's leave, and immediately go here for a fight. They spread these guys out. They were actually very close early on, and that was actually quite a fight. I can promise you that. Uh, you had to... Uh, fight double the amount just make sure everyone gets a bit back oh they all are on horses interesting so according to this oh they're right over there give them hell, give them hell. let's go let's get through this and yes my skill leave a, a lot to the desires uh, i did do some damage there oh yeah so let's focus a bit. Oh, well, I said focus. No. Come on, there. In the knee. Bit of a knee shot. The abd abdomens. Come on. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh no! You killed one of my men. Oh, you actually are killing all of my men. Which is extremely worrying for me. Since, well, I was kind of hoping they would do better. Okay, let's wait it for a second. Can we just focus a bit more? Oh, no, no! I'm sorry, horsey! I'm very sorry. Wow. I'm really bad with the bow. There you go. There we go, we leveled up and oh, fortunately, unfortunately for us, that poor fella died. Let's see if we can level up this bow skill a bit more. Wow, okay, I need to aim before it. No, no, Horsey, kill. You stole my kill, you bastard. You've won the battle. <laughs> Look at them run. No one is running, I promise you that. So, we got ourselves one of those raiders. Or we could, well, hopefully sell. And as you can see, we have four, a party of four and two are wounded. Not too shabby. And we got ourselves some stuff and actually look at this this is way better than we are wearing very very nice so let's press done all of that and can we recruit some more troops no which is highly unfortunate can we level up our guys oh they cannot be leveled up they are a bit stronger though so we actually didn't lose anyone they were just hurt so griff is going for the chase here so you can double click these to speed up time, but also use the uh, numbers 1, 2, and 3. Actually, yes, 1, 2, and 3. So let's attack them. This time I hope I will do a better job. So let's move up the cavalry on top of this hill. Move out! Okay, they are a bit far away. I should be able to start hitting them quite soon now. Oh yes I did. Charge everyone. There you go, another headshot. And as I said, we are on realistic. But we are going to be getting a lot more damage than usual. Even though we have some pretty nice gear on from our brother. He was kind enough to give it to us, even though he didn't didn't really say so. Could you, for crying out loud, just take an arrow, please, thank you. Yes, right over there. 
You did very well, sir. Thank you for your participation. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah. So, I can promise you, uh, the horse archery, actually the horse fighting, where you are going to be trying... This is actually a lot diff more difficult than it was in a regular old warband. You'll really have to look down before you actually do some damage. But if you do, it is magnificent. So... We have no injured, and by the looks of it, we have increased in bow as well as in riding. It's weird, because I didn't really ride. So, more troops. And, wow. Oh, that might be very nice. So, the length is 92, and the handling is a bit less. Cutting damage is 62. And this one has piercing damage and trusting speed cutting damage. It's, uh, it has a lot more. So let's get this weapon. And the rest is just common loot. Now we know that this guy is over there. And we'll get some more troops for sure. At least, I do hope so. He's not moving. Did you notice that? Yes, of course you did. So, here we go. See the terrain again. Oh, rather flat. Get moving! You know what, just attack, go. And this time, let's go in with this uh, new sword that we just acquired, and I'll show you that it can be very, very difficult. And of course, now I hit, yes. Let's make sure that our guys get back before I am knocked out, because these guys can really hurt you. Oh, damn. Okay, let's bow. Bow up. Bow up. Let's do some damage. Think about our family name, which we don't have yet, but we will. Now, horse archers in this game at the moment, uh, apart from me, are pretty, pretty powerful. Come on now. Okay, let's just go in with the sword, because, wow, I'm making a real fool of myself. Oh damn! No! No! Oh damn you! Oh yes, you took that nicely in the face! Very well! Very well done! I think everyone died. Yes, we have won the battle. Precisely what we hoped. And no casualties other than my pride! More raiders! <laughs> we got a lot of raiders! So, let's see, any better gear? We got a club here, blunt weapon. Hmm. As for the rest of it, not really interested. Maybe we can give some to our poor old brother, since he is a... Well, he's kind of missing some gear now, isn't he? I don't know why. And for the rest of all of that is good. He... Well, he's lacking a shield. Well, who cares. Here we've rescued several prisoners. So we now know the location soon. Wait, oh... I don't know who you are, but I'm in your depth. These brigades of uh, brigands would have marched us to our death. My name is Techius. I'm the doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest. But now, uh, now I'm thinking, I'm not really made for that sort of thing. No, neither am I. I was with a caravan and just... And they just came out of the bush. We were surrounded and outnumbered. So we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, even just for the ransom. But they started flogging us along the, at top speed without any water. I was about to uh, ready to. I was about ready to drop. I could feel signs of heat stroke creeping up, and I told them, but they flogged me more and swells the group. So thank you very much. You, if your group hadn't come along, maybe, if um, maybe I had a way to thank you properly. So yeah, we're looking for some children. They haven't seen children. And uh, let's just skip through all of this. You guys can play the tutorial at your heart's desire. Let's see if we can actually get some more troops before we go in there. And we are unable to. There's one thing that I do want to do, and that is... Uh, maybe heal up. My HP is rather low. Oh my, I don't think we can. And unfortunately, in the tutorial, you cannot go to other places than these two. And this is, of course, the uh, the final final part of the tutorial. So let's go in there. 
It is night time. Let's leave. Let's wait until it's daytime. Oh, we can just hold space, actually. And heal us up a tiny, tiny bit. And I think we are ready to do it. Here we go. So we now pay money per day to your troops. So keep that in mind. It is time. Let's see. Do we see any movement? Everyone. Could you just follow all of me? Thank you. I do have the tendency to leave some people behind. So no one over there. Oh, I see you, scoundrel. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, yes. Don't hide alongside those trees. Come on. Could I please kill you? Let's go back into sword swinging. Yes. We did nicely. We did definitely nicely. We got some skill in the bow. Um, even though it's not as much as we hoped. There's another one. Preying upon us. He doesn't know it yet, but he is. So how good am I able to shoot this? Hmm, that may be a bit too high. Oh, that was close. Could you just... just... No! You make me look like a, like a fool! Ah, fine. We'll just have to sneak in closer. Right there. There we go. Maybe the zooming option is not better. Maybe it is. Okay, very well done. And let's continue. Oh, there's two more standing over there. Let's take the cover of this tent. Oh, he noticed us. He's throwing rocks at us. Oh, no. I can do that. Well, this time I will kill you with the bow. Oh, God. I was kind of hoping for a bit more damage, but then again, we did kill him. And I'm proud of that achievement. Okay, so there is that guy walking. Yeah, we don't have to sneak around. We might as well just go in. Okay, please don't stand in front of me. That would be so, so bad. Wow. You looked... Do you? Are you losing an arm? No. <laughs> he was just having it on his chest. He carried it with him. Like a proud man he was. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Just shoot your fellow in the face. Could you just stop over there? <laughs> For crying out loud. He's like, I will need that arrow. Please shoot me in the face. And we're out of arrows. Okay, let's go. Charge. Yes. My weird ass brother. I think that was the final enemy. Oh. Now, we will, give a we will be given the option to go... One versus one, which would be a very honorable deed. Unfortunately, he will kill me. So, do you have my brother? Well, good heavens, I need more description than that. Well, I man attack. No. Could you just focus on me, please? Thank you. Wait, are my men dead? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Never had this happen before, I promise you. Uh, we are down. You have lost the baddie. Look at him being proud. You bastard. Oh wow, this looks uh, really bad. Yes, we were defeated. Well, it's fine. So, I don't think we can actually give more. So, let's go in right away. And we are going to be just saying the charge option. And this time, we have a bow and arrow. And hopefully, I think the mistake was getting the gear from my brother since he is car well definitely carrying us quite a bit and they are a lot faster than I am 
Which is a shame. Look at this. I'm a slowpoke compared with them. So athletic skill. Yes, maybe something that would be quite useful. Let's just get our sword and shield out. Wow. Um, I'll catch up uh, with you, hopefully. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that guy. Maybe we can uh, cut them off. Please don't kill one of my guys. I kind of need them. Quite a bit. And these hideouts. Um, don't, don't think too little of them. These hideouts you come across the map. They are brutal. Truly brutal. They are... You with 6 guy against your regular 30 or 40. So don't go ahead and do those until you are very much certain you stand a chance. And he killed one of my poor guys. I'm not too happy about that. And he was... He spawned back. Did you see that? He did spawn back. Maybe we should go for a one-on-one -on -one this time. Hmm. I'll duel you. Oh damn. Okay, so... He's definitely no pushover. No! Whoa, I did it! <laughs> <laughs> I did it. You have won the battle. <laughs> I was not too sure about that, actually. Um, now what? Okay, so yes. And we gained some... Um, look at that. We gained plus two in athletics. <laughs> we need that. We need it quite a bit. So I recognize the feat. And what will happen now is... Um, your brother, who has been knocked unconscious and we are very much hurt... Is uh, going to be taking him with him. And there's the chest. And here we go. So we are going to be... Our family name. Griff. The Insane. This is not how you, how you write that. I need to look that up. Let's see. Insane. Yes. Come on please. Insane. Insane, yes. Insane, yes. <laughs> and this is a different word, sorry. The Insane. So our family name, our clan name will be The Insane. Welcome. And as for our banner, uh, we can actually do the size and... No. There are a good, a good amount of options. Um, The Dutch Lion, no. The boar. I like the boar a lot. Oh, that's too big. There you go. And that's not what she said, though. Let's go with black and yellow. Yes. Some truly, truly good, good colors. Well, guys, the tutorial is finally over. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, look at this. There's still four guys remaining in here. If you hover over them... You can see what is there. And remember, you are alone. Don't forget that. You are alone in this world. In this absolutely, absolutely massive, massive Calradia. And who knows what they might add in the future. Although there's still a bit of a map line. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. But then again, the game looks absolutely astonishing. It really looks good. I'm really looking forward to this, guys. Hopefully you are as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button if you uh, want to see more Mountain Blade Bannerlore. And, well, Mountain Blade in general, returning to my channel, then uh, do so. Do so. Leave that like. Let me know that you care. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.